my birthday. I decided for my birthday to go to the nation's largest rodeo. Why? Because that's so funny. I'm going to elaborate a little bit more on how I ended up here and also clarify that it's not just a rodeo, it's a livestock convention. I am the daughter of two math teachers in Virginia. It's the last town that you could kind of consider yourself Northern Virginia, but exposed to the South, but also very much exposed to the North. I currently live in New York City. I've been here for the past five years. Before that, I spent three years in Los Angeles. So my scope of Southern culture is very limited. And one of my friends, Rachel, whom you will get to know very shortly is from Houston and her family lives there. And it's been this running joke between me, her and John that we need to go to this rodeo that is the second largest in the world and it's in her town, it's where she's from. We're all like, that would be so funny, us city girls going to the rodeo. I didn't know how serious it was. I thought it was just fun and games and you know, we're gonna go to a petting zoo and ride a ferris wheel and maybe have a fried Twinkie. No, this is people's livelihoods. This is how kids get scholarships. This is a very serious art and craft to some people. And this is where people make their money for the year selling their livestock. I just didn't know. And I'm gonna reiterate it again in the vlog. We are not here to judge. We are here simply to observe, to have an experience. But first, let me show you the hotel. sponsored by Green Chef. If you're someone that eats a specific diet, like paleo, keto, vegan, vegetarian, this is the meal delivery service for you because they're lifestyle specific. Even if you just want balanced living, that's an option as well. But you can get really good meals to cook at home, sent to your door. And what I love is that oftentimes when I'm cooking something, maybe the recipe will call for two tablespoons of this sauce or spice that I don't have, that I don't see myself using regularly, but it's gonna really make an impact on this particular recipe. So what do I do? I go out to the store. I spend $12.99 on this one spice that I will never use again, or this one sauce that I will probably never use again. The meal's great, but then it sits and it expires and then I throw it away. This stops that because everything is portioned. They also come with recipes that include pictures and very easy to follow instructions. And all of their recipes are 
we made sweet potato tacos and they were fantastic also these moroccan chickpea rolls that were incredible so if you haven't tried it yet you're looking to get into cooking you all should go to greenchef.com they're a ccof certified organic company options include keto paleo vegan gluten-free vegetarian fast and fit and mediterranean so if that sounds of your interest you can go to greenchef.com and then use promo code lexi lombard 130 to get $130 off your order and free shipping on your first box. All the information will be in the description box. Back to the video. to interrupt and explain to you what you're watching because it is the craziest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how this is legal to be honest. So it's called mutton busting. To break it down for you the different elements of the rodeo in layman's terms and still it gets more um, specified than this like there's a lot to it but you have grown men who are riding bulls right and then you have high schoolers who are doing the calf scramble where you're like lassoing around calf's legs I guess and it's apparently quite difficult and this is what they're doing they're competing for scholarships and then what toddlers do is they race on sheep they put toddlers in these hockey helmets and they put them on sheep and they see who can go the farthest and that's what you're watching that's what I'm watching I didn't how is this I don't know horse lap so all of the horses that have done really well and won they don't have any saddles on or anything and they all get to run a lap and be honored and clapped for and it's really cute because they're all just so cute <laughs>
this ride I also want to explain because there was absolutely no way to record it because if you're actually on the ride, hell no are you able to record it. And then also, due to the nature of the ride, which I will explain in a second, um, there's no way anyone else could really film it. I mean, to really get the full experience, but this ride was called the Rave Wave. Once again, never even seen it. This feels like Texas, or at least Houston, in my opinion, feels like the type of place that the community pools still have the giant diving boards. They haven't been closed due to insurance issues. Like, they just allow things to happen here is what I've gathered. And this ride is called the Rave Wave. And it is a roller coaster that goes in a circle, kind of up and down in a circle. I don't know how to do this with my hands, but you're kind of going up and down, around and around. You're sitting in a typical seat that you would ride a ride in. While this is all happening, they're blasting EDM music and halfway through the ride, a tarp comes over and closes on top of you so you are completely unable to see the outside. When the tarp is over, you think of when you were in elementary school and you'd play that game with the parachute where you'd throw it over and everyone would sit on it. It's like that, it goes over top, you can't see anything and then you start going backwards. Definitely the best ride I went on. Thank <laughs> you.